this is a response to Chris Nolan, a fellow truth seeker like me, and um, basically I did the same thing. I just kind of fell into these videos about concentration camps across the U.S. and apparently they've been being photographed for a number of years now, like, like, I mean, a number of years, like, since 2006, things like this have been being talked about, and, yeah, like, like you said, it could be real or it couldn't be real, I mean, I really don't know, but I see the evidence before me, and I see the transcriptions and the ideas that other people have, other have brought and I also see you know people in across the world who are preaching the Bible or the Word of God and, and the Word of God is not the Bible but it's certain things within the Bible and because the Bible is mixed you know between um, like you said with television and uh, the internet basically the Bible is um, half you know half and half so it's like I mean television is not real I don't watch television anymore because I know of the subliminal messages or or the the things that are being produced are not necessarily accurate so I stick truly to the internet and that's all I stick with but um, the point is is that uh, these things very well are real, okay, and they very well are going to happen, and nothing happens without preparation, and we know this, and if we as a society within America have given these people power, you know, to, you know, go to war whenever there was no war, because they're specifically, they're, they're specifically, like, declaring Bush as a murderer and Bush administrators as a murderer like within the federal government, I mean different things, they're trying to convict Bush of mass murder because of what he did and what he did back in 2001 was the CIA gave him intelligence that Iraq was not an imminent threat and then he gave a whole different document to Congress that, that had nothing to say that what the CIA had to say about him not being an Im imminent threat. And so basically, we went to war for nothing. We were stupid and we were ignorant and we just went and we did. And so now, four or five years into the future, 2005, 2006, he understands that the administration, the, the, the people running the show, understands that the American people are still ignorant. And this, and this brings back to your whole question about um, the idea that why is this still on YouTube? Well, the reason why it's still on YouTube is because they can't control the internet. They want to control the internet, and that is is becoming, you know, with uh, like internet neutrality and different things where the big corporations take over the internet and the small, smaller websites actually just disappear. So basically they're trying to gain control over the internet, but they don't have it yet. And so why is this on YouTube? Because yes, it's controlled by someone, but it's controlled by us all. And so therefore they don't have control over it yet. And it's the same reason why um, it's on there and they don't care about it is because they don't fear us because we are so we have been so ignorant and we look at these videos and we just like you said we just debate back and forth is this true or this not true and we just go on and on in this debate and we don't take action to actually what is actually going on uh, you talk about like putting another person up on a per up on stage and and then therefore they're they're just an actor they're just a person um, and all these other s things will still go on 
And I agree with that. The only person that I do not agree that that would ever happen is, is Ron Paul. But I do agree that Ron, if Ron Paul ever got elected, then he would be assassinated by the people who are trying to run things. And so, so therefore, it's like, I, you know, I mean, it's everything. <sighs> Basically, all I wanted to say was that, um, I don't know, from the evidence that I have gained through the ex experience of two days, this is real. Now, whenever you say that the poor people or the people who can't eat, you know, those are the people that are going to be taken to these camps, that is not necessarily accurate because, like, it's n they're not looking to establish a, 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 a order where the people who survive on this world survive on others. I mean, yes, those people will be eliminated, but also many, many others. And it's and I, I've heard, you know, through other videos that there's red, there's blue, and there's green or yellow. I, I don't know the colors, you know, classifications. Basically, red are the people that are aware of what's going on in the world and are aware of the uh, basically control that. Are they are wanting to do with the world, and then I know, and then the blue are the people who not are necessarily as aware as the red, but at the same time they listen to the red, and so therefore they start doing things that you know are different, and then the yellow or whatever the color is, those are the people that are ignorant, and those ignorant people that are not aware of is a large part and, and they don't want to become aware. They like living their life. They like living what they are. And so they just, they don't know about anything else except for, they don't know about these videos on YouTube. They, because they see these videos and they're like, they just surpass it. It's almost like it's um, invisible to them because of what they think they are and what they think they know and so I can't say I just want to tell you that you're a beautiful creation and you're a truth seeker and and don't be denied by everything else because I mean if you look if you look at the evidence this is real. Now, the only thing we can do, I, I don't know if we can do anything at this point. I mean, I look at America and I look at, you know, what we are and, and how ignorant everybody is, including myself, because I've only found these videos in the last two days. And I look at all that and I'm, I'm like, yes, we might know a lot about this and, and people might speak a lot about this but the people who truly speak about the government are going to be the first to go and we don't know where they'll go they'll just disappear they just won't be here anymore I don't fear it I don't fear death actually if I ever get into that moment and I don't think I ever will, but if I ever get into that moment where I'm in a concentration camp, I'll just simply meditate and, you know, transcend into the oneness, the God, the everything that is, and, and because I don't fear that, and I don't fear death either, and so, I mean, I'll be in that moment, and I might preach, I might say things, and I might do things that be to my own demise in that moment but I've been there before so it's nothing new and so I just want to transcribe to just this is real this is not real this is what you want to believe and that's really all it is that's where everybody's at at this point real not real just what you want to believe so with that statement, um, 
I recommend uh, doing what you got to do to stay alive or to die or whatever. It's all the same in the end. So um, thank you for listening.